And you claim that I am a villain when the guilty ones stand in front of you. Well, I mean, you know, even if they're guilty, you're the one who took them and put them in your creepy bunker, so I don't know what to tell you, dude. <laughs> Hey internet, it's Jessica and welcome back to Remember Remember. So I think we're finally at the end of this game and I know a big decision is about to happen because you know there are multiple endings to this. I'm just wondering what's gonna happen. So a lot of you uh, agreed with Peter's plan that um, we shouldn't lie to um, Chris about, you know, if they were guilty or innocent or whatever, they shouldn't team up with it. I mean, like, I get I get his point of view, but I, I, I agree more with Xavier just because I feel like, at least if you go against the mask, then you can deal with, like, your group of friends after. I don't know. We're gonna see what happens. Um, Chris also got more memories from being with Rosa, and now I, I'm starting to think she's guilty just because it's that trope of, like, the innocent characters are always the guilty ones. Oh god, please tell me I'm wrong. Anyway, let's let's go look into what's gonna happen now. Now? Shit. Is it really time? I can't believe this. Still, I was able to spend a good moment of time with Rosa. I think that's enough for me. I have to get through this. Let me get through this. And let the world forgive me for whatever happens. Oh god. Everyone looks nervous. Hell, I'm nervous. I'm scared! <laughs> like, seriously. Too many questions. Will it- will we get to leave? Will the truth be too much? I'm scared shitless. Well then, as disappointing as this experiment was, there was always meant to be an end. Believe it or not, Chris, but your sister's wish was for you to learn the truth. So it's pretty much, from the way that the mass is speaking, it's pretty much like confirmed that Sarah is dead. Or at least that's what I'm taking away from it. So that's not good. Was? She's dead, I assume. My dear Chris, we would not be in this situation if that weren't the case. And then, and then also a lot of people saying in the comments like that maybe like the the, the mass person uh, is like the father or something because the mom was uh, was the only one around at least from what we heard from Chris. It's an interesting statement, and that's pretty fucked up if you do that to your own kid. You know what I mean? Your own son? Like what the hell? I knew she was gone, but to hear it confirm is tearing me apart. Sarah, I'm so sorry. Truly, she was a magnificent girl. Bright, but tainted. What? My only regret is not saving her sooner. You... The fuck does that mean? Rescued her? Believe it or not, I did. She lived here with me after I bought her. Ew! Wait, wait, wait. What? Who is this? What? Her? She was sold? Oh no! Oh no, that is not okay. Before I continue, I'd like to open one final chance for the four victims on the platform. What the fuck? Who is this guy? One chance? Would anyone like to confess their sins before their judge? Speak now, or forever hold your peace. Will any of them speak? Will any of them tell me the truth? Please, tell me. I need to know. No one? No one? No one. Oh shit. <sighs> no, no. I don't think so. Chris, just do the right thing. Savior, please don't be guilty! <laughs> Help us! You've had your time to speak. Tubes. There. Soundproof. Yes. I'm using a new glass compound for this last game. Oh. One I prepared ahead of time that deflects sound. This way. You won't have to listen to them scream and beg for help as you give them their final That's pretty judgment. fucked up. I see what I see what the mask is doing though, but that's really messed up. This is too cruel. This is beyond any form of torture. So what happens now? Now, I reveal the truth. Oh god, I'm not ready. Who is it? How does he plan on Huh, the game disappeared. What? The screen reads, March 14th, 2012, 9.45pm, the night Sarah was taken. Oh, is this like a security camera or something? A dimly lit suburban street focused on solely on the three houses laid next to each other. A little girl appears, staring bright-eyed at a dark world around her, and she walks down the sidewalk. Her mouth is slung open in awe, while her feet are guided forward to an unknown destination. As she disappears from the camera view, another being steps into it. An older, much more menacing dark figure with a baseball cap. 
retracing every little step of the little girl ahead of him ahead of him made sarah's kidnapper oh god ew this is so creepy i don't like this the streets change another lone suburban street march 14 2012 9 50 p.m wait there's a girl rushing down the street on the phone lisa what the little girl appears and sees Lisa frantically speaking into the phone. Lisa turns and sees the little girl hide behind the car in fright. They speak to each other, but then the video has no sound. Unfortunately, expected from a simple security camera. The little girl comes out, but Lisa listens once again to her phone. Wait, maybe, maybe Lisa didn't do- This is what I was saying, like, from the beginning. I don't think, like, anyone who was involved did it, like, a malicious on purpose intent. You know what I mean? I think they were, like, being blackmailed or, like, being held against their will to do it. That's what I have a feeling that's what's going on. After a moment, Lisa runs off, leaving the little girl behind. Lisa? Oh god, Ugh, what is going on in the background, dude? The screen changes again, March 14, 2012, 10.04 uh, p.m. on a dark alleyway that's barely lit. A boy paces around, rubbing his hands and looking around frantically. <gasps> Xavier! Another masked man steps into the view and the two chat, but then the little girl appears at the entrance, peeking in. Xavier starts to yell at her and the other man before ch chucking a can towards the entrance. The little girl runs out of view and Xavier pursues for a little bit before returning to where his partner in crime was. The screen changed once more to a public parking lot, 10.20pm. The little girl follows the man in the baseball cap, eyes full of ignorant, ignorant wonder as she enters his car. A man steps out of another car and simply stares. <gasps> I knew it! Peter's guilty! Well, actually, I said he- I think he was innocent in the last one, but now- Oh, god damn it. I should have known because I said the nice ones are usually the ones who are guilty in the end. But what the fuck are they doing? So Rose is innocent, right? Yeah. I- okay, thank god. I, I'm glad I'm wrong about that because if Rosa was, like, part of this, I'd be a little bit upset. The man gets in his car and drives off. Did this car even have a license plate? I couldn't even see them. And Peter just stood there. Lisa, Xavier, and Peter. All three of them saw my sister, and none of them stepped up to help her. I am completely stunned, in shock of what I- What the hell was I supposed to feel except for that? So, how does it feel to be betrayed by those you trusted? That's pretty fucked up, like... I'm just wondering why they didn't say anything. They have to be blackmailed, right? Or they have to be held against their will. There's no reason for them to be like, oh, let's just like get Sarah kidnapped. Like, that makes no sense. So they lured Sarah out, right? Because they Sarah recognized them as Chris's friends. What the fuck? Uh, hi. I can't even find the words. I saw her. I saw Sarah. Yet, I saw my friends, people I grew to care for, leaving her to be taken. I'm torn, and yet hysterical. My entire body won't make a decision. If only I could read your brain patterns. This kind of trauma is rare to come by. Fuck this guy. Shut up. Shut up. What am I supposed to do? Oh well. I guess I'll have to make do with the end game. So, oh my god. And how are you gonna screw with me this time? I'm insulted. I am handing you the gavel. And you claim that I am a villain, when the guilty ones stand in front of you. Well, I mean, you know, even if they're guilty, you're the one who took them and put them in your creepy bunker, so I don't know what to tell you, dude. But what about Rosa? She has done nothing. Why bring Rosa and put her through this if she's innocent? She's the unfortunate casualty. I couldn't let her run off and foil my plans. So I had to bring her along since she clung so close to you for. Besides... Why not add a little challenge? So, she, just basically, she's just a liability, essentially, or extra pressure for Chris, because she she didn't do anything at all. But the mass is like, I can't risk it, let's just bring her, so fuck this guy. How is bringing her here a challenge? I guess that will depend on how you judge the guilty. Staring at them, they're all frightened. Can they even hear what is going on in the tubes? What are they thinking? What exactly am I thinking? That would explain also Peter's outburst in the last episode, too. I think Peter feels really guilty about, like, what he's done. That's why he he feels like it's necessary to tell Chris the truth now. Because he should have done it a long time ago, but he never did. So I think that's why he's so... He was so defensive and he snapped right away. And then Xavier didn't want to do that because he didn't want 
I, I don't think he didn't want to, you know, just because, like, oh, I'm an asshole or whatever. I think because he didn't want to hurt Chris. That's why he didn't want to say it. He didn't want to admit he was uh, wrong. And that's why Xavier fought back again. And then Lisa, at the same time, she's also guilty. And she has the same mindset as Xavier. And I think there's, like, something going on between the two of them. So I think that's why she sided with Xavier as well. But that makes so much sense now why both of them snapped. I'm disappointed in Peter. What the fuck? Why? The screen changed it again. It's the maze game. But why is the big guilty sign on it? What? I'm sure you'll notice the gigantic button in the corner of your little maze. That is how you will judge each person. Or judge them all together. I- You know, you know, as much as I don't like this, that the fact that Sarah was kidnapped, essentially sold, and then killed in the end. I don't get it. So did the mask guy kill her? Because he said he said that Sarah uh, was taken into the bunker with him after he bought her and then she died. So did he kill her? Like, I don't know what's going on there. But, I, you know, as, even though that they're part of Sarah's kidnap, I don't feel like it's right to, like, kill them or anything like that because of this. Or any kind of punishment. How is this gonna fix anything? What? That's right. You still have a time limit, but you'll be able to judge each individual in their own separate chambers. That way, you don't feel pressured to save them all. So the halo is the innocent verdict. Makes sense. I can save people who I want to save with the halo, judging them as innocent. Then when I'm done distri distributing halos, I can hit the guilty button and kill the rest. Am I even strong enough to do that? Should I just press the button and let everyone drown in the beginning? What the fuck? Why would you do that? No, I can't think like that. I have to save them, but... Do I want to save all of them? Do I want to save any of them? Rose is the only innocent one, but... Would she even look at me the same if I killed the others? I don't think she would. How can I show my face to any of them if I choose who to live and who to die? But how can I live with myself if I let the ones who didn't protect Sarah go? I can't think. Are you ready? No, I'm not. Are you ready? Is Chris Angel here? <laughs> How can anyone be ready for this? How am I supposed to decide? I can't! I can't! My head is spinning. I feel sick. I'm gonna... Chris? Huh? Fuck, I'm even hearing her again. So... This is a recording for Chris? Ooh, what? Wait. She's on an illusion? S Sarah? I... <coughs> <coughs> I... I don't know what to say. Say anything you'd like. This will get to Chris no matter what. Who the fuck is this masked person? He's so creepy. I just want to know who you are. Chris? Holy fuck, I'm breaking. Sarah, she sounds so real yet. She's... I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. I didn't mean to leave the house that night, but I did. And... Oh god, please don't say anymore. Don't blame yourself. Blame me. Well, I... I got a sickness. I got... Huh? Sarah, maybe it would be best to leave that part out. Okay. Um... Well... <coughs> what did she get? I miss you. And I love you so much, Chris. I miss Mom. And I miss your friend. Stop it. I don't want to hear this. I don't want to hear any more she has to say. I just wish that you knew the truth. Please don't blame yourself and keep living. No matter what, you're my knight. I know you'll make the best choices for anything. Oh god, what the hell? Sarah! I am the one to blame. I let her get out of my sight one night and... But... She could have been saved. That's right. She could have been rescued by the people I called friends. And now, I have to make a choice whether I, w I wanted to or not. Will I forgive them or will I sen sentence them as guilty? Sarah, please forgive me. She was wise for a 12-year-old. Do not disrespect her words by faltering before judgment. Shut up! I hate this masked person! Who the fuck are you? I- I think I know what to do. Everyone, I'm sorry. Please, let me make the right choice. Start the game. Fuck you, let's go. So what do I have to do? Halo is means they're not... Okay, um... Where's Rosa? Oh, okay, I'm done. 
What? I just legit don't know where to go or what to do, actually, so yeah. How could this happen to me? I, I feel like I can't bring myself to like kill the the, the guilty ones, even though they, they they probably like you know deserve a form of punishment, obviously. But but I feel like this isn't this isn't the right way to go about it. You know what I mean? Like it's just not right to me. I don't know. That, ugh, God damn it! Can you please move? I gotta reload again. God damn it. I wanna save- I, like, I really legit wanna save all of them, because I don't think this is the right thing to do. God damn it. Fuck off. My god, that actually made me want to jump out the window, but I finished it. I saved all of them. Fuck this. Holy shit. I, I did it. I saved all of them. <laughs> are, are we? <sighs> we... We made it? We're alive? I don't think- like I said, I don't think it's right to like kill them like this, even if they're guilty and like whatever. I really don't think this is right. Chris... You saved us? Guys. I feel so relieved, so happy. I can't believe it, I saved them! Did I do the right thing? I knew you could do it, Chris! Huh? Huh? My imagination? I knew you would Aww. save your friends! You're the best knight! Sarah, I'm sorry. I love you. Ugh. Chris! S sorry. I... It's alright. Thank you. Oh my god, I was legit gonna like throw my computer out the window because I kept dying because my problem was I kept looking at the time so I'm like fuck I have no time left so god damn it don't do that if you guys are gonna play this game don't look at the time just seriously don't. Yes. Thank you Chris for saving us. Yes! <claps> just seeing all this smell, this feeling in my chest I know I did right. Hey guys, Lisa, Xavier, Peter. I forgive all of you. Oh wow, really? Chris. We're sorry. You saved us and yet... It's okay. We all could have done something. But we can't blame ourselves forever. Sarah, please forgive me. I already have, Chris. Oh. Alright. We passed you. Yeah, game. fuck this guy! I wanna know Let who the masked person is! Chris. Truly, I am disappointed. Yeah, whatever. Disappointed? Why? Because I didn't kill my friends? You would let the ones who let Sarah be kidnapped, sold, and raped live? I mean, oh god damn it. Like, okay, I, I'm still, I'm still wondering. Did they, was it, was it, did I misinterpret the, the security cams? Were they just there, like, hanging out, and then they saw Chris's sister and be like, oh, there's Chris's sister, but then they didn't mention to him later when she, he was looking for her. Is that what, what happened? Or were they a part of it? I don't know. I know what he means. A dark part of me doesn't want to forgive them, but we're all at, f but we're all at fault, and we can't keep despairing over our guilt forever. That that's true because it is also Chris's fault too for not keeping an eye out on uh, Sarah because he was responsible for looking after her. No one deserves death, not Sarah, not my friends. It's probably the toughest road, but it's the most human road I can take. Sarah would have forgiven them. So will I. I know deep in my heart. That none of them are truly at fault. If anything, we all share the blame. Sarah wouldn't want us to destroy ourselves over this. What truly deserves forgiveness? Can, can we just punch the masked man? Because I'm like so tired of his shit right now. <laughs> I know with every fiber of my soul, I truly I, that I fully that I fully forgive my friends. They were there for me through my entire life, even after Sarah was taken. I would not hurt them ever. Well. As the final game has concluded, you are free to go. I just I don't know who the fuck that guy is. It's open. Are we really free? That door will lead you to an elevator. Take it, and you will be released.
You're not gonna trick us, are you? My work is done. I have no use for any of you. And there's no point in killing you. Besides, my research days are over. I'm too old to dig into the brains of millennial adults who let forgiveness overcome simple morals. How is it? Dude, you're con you're you're contradicting yourself. Forgive simple morals? You're fucking dumb. I fucking hate this guy. Who is this? He really did care for Sarah, didn't he? You truly cared for Sarah. Of course I did. She was like a daughter I never had. I would have traded anything to bring her back to life. And return her to the life she was ripped away from. I didn't know whether to believe him or not. I didn't know whether to believe him or feel pity. I don't believe you. I don't feel pity. Fuck you. However, he was the last person to be with her, or so he insinuated. We both lost someone very important to us. And I guess we have that much in common. Indeed. But enough talk. Your freedom awaits. Go. Before I change my mind. Let's go. Right. Xavier. Peter. Yeah. Let's go. Come on. Fuck you. Fuck the mask. I fuck everybody. This is the perfect ending. I don't give a shit because I really don't think killing them is like, is the answer. I, I really don't think they they were just like, um, they were letting, except for Peter, because Peter witnessed her going to the car. I don't know. I, I don't think Peter like thought like, oh, maybe that's just someone they she knows, and then we just like let her go. But he, the reason, the only thing that bothers me is that they didn't say anything to Chris. Be like, I saw your sister. Even if they have nothing to do with the kidnapping or anything like that, just tell him like, I saw your sister that day at this time or whatever, whatever, to like at least help. I don't get why they wouldn't say anything. That makes no sense to me. This place will haunt me forever. But I know somewhat Sarah is. But I know that somehow Sarah's okay. We'll be okay. Goodbye, Sarah. Hmm. What? Where? The hell are they? Where am I? Why am I lying on the ground? Huh? Savior Lisa? Peter and Rosa too. They're all passed out on the grass. How did we... It must have been the elevator ride. We must have been drugged and brought here. Of course. Oh. A cell phone, it's ringing. Hello? Hello? This is Officer Parks of the Chicago Police Department. An anonymous tip said to call this number for information about a group of missing young adults. Okay. Do you have any information? They were looking for us. And we're free to go home now. We've been found! Uh, hello? <laughs> yes, yes! I I'm Chris. I I'm one of the missing people. The others are here too. Whoa there, whoa there, hold on. There are five missing people. Yes! Chris, Rosa, Peter, Xavier, and Lisa. We're all here. That's so <laughs> random. <laughs> all right, now, hang tight. We're gonna locate your phone signal and come get you, all right? Just stay where you are. Who the fuck is voicing the sergeant? He sounds Canadian. <laughs> he has, like, a Canadian accent. What the hell? <laughs> Finally, we're going home. Huh? What's in my pocket? A piece of paper. Sarah! Oh no! She drew- I assume that's Chris, right? Sarah, thank you for remembering me. Good end! A, bu a butterfly's forgiveness. Yay! We got the good end! I don't know how many endings are there. I don't remember how many, but I know there's a bad ending. Aside from the one where Chris dies. Alright! So, that was the end of that, and... Like I said, my feelings towards the end is just like- I, I really wished, like... I think it's because we have to talk to the other characters, right, to see, like, what they, they think. So, um, I think I'm gonna do the other endings, because like, I'm really curious as to what Lisa is gonna say, because I've only talked to, really, Rosa, right? Peter once, and Xavier once, too. So, I'm gonna play this again. I wanna talk to the other characters and get their, like, uh, input on, like, what, what, what really went down, because I'm pretty sure the reason why I don't understand uh, part of the ending is because I need to talk to the rest of them. I'm pretty sure that's why, but yeah. Uh, that was really interesting, and we don't even know who the masked person is. I really want to know that part as well, because that's bothering the hell out of me. I want to know who the masked person is. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the good ending, at least, of Remember, Remember. And it's time for me to pick a Steam Key winner. And since I'm going to do the other endings, I'm not entirely sure how many videos that's going to take for me. So, I, I, will, I will just 
put the rest of the keys on there. But anyway, let's pick the third winner today. Okay, and today's winner is Red Royal. So here's your comment on the screen and congratulations. Please message me on my channel. So you just go to the about section of my uh, channel and click send message and then I will give you the Steam key. So there are actually uh, three more Steam keys available that I can give since one of the people who won the last Steam key couldn't uh, claim it. So I'm going to put it back up for grabs. So there's the three more uh, winners that I will pick and I don't know how long I'm going to do the series because I don't know how many endings there are, but whatever. I will do them over the course of the next videos. But yeah, if you guys want to win a Steam key, remember all you have to do is follow the rules in the description and then I will pick in. Uh, the next video but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed remember remember and let me know in the comments like what you guys thought about this ending uh specifically for the good one just forgiving all of them i i don't know just for me personally it's not like we straight up witnessed them murder sarah or something like that you know they just let her got taken and they didn't get any information to chris about her like seeing her that day that she got taken that's the only thing that they did wrong at least that's how i see it but it's not nothing punishable by death you know what i mean it's like if they straight up went to like I, if they were the ones actually kidnapping her themselves and like doing what it sold her and doing whatever then yes that is a different story you know what i mean but i just feel like this is more appropriate than killing any of them even though that maze was a bitch and i felt like i'll just let one of them die because like literally i kept running out of time if you guys enjoyed this video, remember, remember, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to join the companions. And if you'd like to support me on Patreon, there's a link in the description where you can check it out. You get stuff like early access uh, videos that are only Patreon exclusive and the Patreon Discord server so you can come talk to me and a bunch of other stuff. Or if you would prefer to buy artwork from my store, the link is in the description as well. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! What? Donut Entertainment just announced and finally confirmed that they are indeed working on Life is Strange 2. Hello. Invite two people over. Don't start fucking one of them. Oh, bye. Oh, no! Hmm, what is it? Um, Ida's mad.